Hey guys, welcome to this week's OMG Tuesday. We are trying out something really excellent and amazing. I just have a good feeling about it. This is an airbrush foundation line that is expanded beyond just foundation. They have a bronzer, a primer, and a spray-on highlight. So spray-on foundations typically just, they'll remind you of like a spray paint can. It's really just like that. You're literally spray painting your face. So for anyone that ever was like, oh my God, go paint your face, like this is, this is what it reminds me of. Like you're just done. <laughs> this is an oil-free formula. It is supposed to cover like crazy. This is something that I picked up from Namie's. It was a brand I really knew nothing about. I don't think I've I don't see this everywhere actually. Yeah, so this is the Era Face Foundation, and then we have the Era Face Shimmer. We also have the Era Rays bronzer. They like try to do a little play on words. Era Glaze 24 karat shimmer. And then we have a primer. So I'm really curious, especially with the primer because this looks like a heavy duty primer. And I was researching online and it's going to prime your lips, your eyes, your lashes, your brows. It's gonna make everything perform better. So of course we're gonna start with the primer. This is 25 bucks. You get 1.5 ounces in here. You're always gonna wanna shake up any of these airbrush type makeups. Um, I really love the Dior airbrush. That is one of my favorite foundations of all time. I actually haven't used that one in a while. While I was purchasing this, I was kind of making a mental note that I wanted to go and pick up that one again because it's a really nice formula. And I actually use that one directly on a sponge and then to my face, I don't like just spray my whole face, which you can do, but I want to let you guys know with all of these airbrush products, you don't just have to like, you know, you can apply them like a typical makeup. It's just the formula is a little bit different being that it's in an aerosol can. We're just gonna close our eyes and hope for the best. This is going to brighten and smooth the skin. It doesn't say anything about filling in your pores though, which kind of makes me sad because I don't like my pores. I'm gonna give the can a good shake and actually I wanna put my hair back just a tiny little bit. It's probably not gonna be the best look for me, but you know what, at least you can see my face. So I'm not gonna like have it close up to my face. I'm just gonna kind of Done. I'm primed. Doesn't smell bad, it just kind of smells a little chemically. My pores still look huge. So that is not really like a pore filling primer, just so you guys are aware. So I picked up two shades, the shade Wheat, and I also got the shade Butterscotch. The foundation says that it's water and transfer resistant, which makes me kind of want to spray it on my whole body. Is that strange? Like, I'm like, ooh, could you do this as like leg makeup? Would that work? This is oil-free. They have 10 different shades. It also says the coverage is so extreme that it would cover up a tattoo. Why do I feel like I want to do one of those things where I like draw a heart with a Sharpie and like see just how full coverage this is? Um, so I'm excited that it's full coverage. I always love that. And that's something that I like about airbrush foundations. Typically they have a more natural look to them, but they can really cover. So we'll see if we can get rid of this right here and this guy right here and just, you know, we'll just, we'll just see. Okay, you get 2.25 ounces in here and it's $55. So I'm gonna do this a couple of ways. I'm going to spray half of my face and then blend it in with a beauty blender. And then I'm going to just take the foundation on the beauty blender and blend it in on the other side just to see, you know, maybe there's a magical difference. I don't know. I just always like to do something a little different when I do these videos, you know? It's more fun that way. <laughs> Not planned. <laughs> that was not planned to be funny or anything weird like that. I just spent like an hour doing my hair. Are you effing kidding me? I am annoyed with myself right now. That is not like, I'm not trying to make this product look bad. I actually think it's gonna be good. So just bear with me. We're gonna get through this. That was a stupid thing to do. All right, so what I'm gonna do is just spray the sponge and go in because clearly I'm the idiot that can't figure out where my face is. Look at that coverage. Look at that coverage. Oh my God. Why didn't I even test which color was what too? Someone needs more sleep in her life. Oh, this one's a little lighter. Maybe it would have been a little, no, the, I did do the right one. Okay. I know I've said this before, when talking about spray on body products, but I always feel like 
the movie Death Becomes Her, which was one of my favorites as a kid. Oh my God, I love that movie so much. Yo, this foundation is like beautiful though. Why does no one talk about this? God help me, Jesus take the wheel. What is going on with my hair? No demarcation lines here. All right, you guys, I think that is beautiful. I'm really, really surprised because um, initially we saw what happened. We can all try to forget that now. But I think this is like so, like the finish of it is so gorgeous. Oh my God. It's covering everything. I look like a mannequin and I like it. Let's try the bronzer. This one they say you can use on the body too, which I'm totally into. So we're just gonna check out the color on my arm. Oh yes, vacation. You guys have no idea how good this is. So for best results, you probably wanna do that in the bathroom butt naked, I'm just saying, so you don't get it everywhere. But I just look like I like came back from vacation in such a nice natural way. And the way that this dries down is like, nothing okay so what i'm gonna do and i saw the lady demoing it online do this she actually took a blush brush sprayed the brush and then did her bronzer so i'm gonna spray the brush and just kind of yes yeah mm -hmm. do you see how this is working like so much better than the lush product look i mean look at that are you kidding me i cannot get over my hair though i'm gonna have to go and like wet that part of my hair this stuff blends out to perfection though i feel like my skin looks incredible right now the bronzer is 40 bucks and you get 1.5 fluid ounces i didn't use a ton of it that's really expensive if you are going to be using it on the body all of the time and i definitely will let you guys know how transfer resistant it is i have cream interior in my car and i remember i was trying out a body bronzing product literally the week i got my car and i like put my hands all over the visor and that stain is still there so i know how frustrating it can be using body products because you know we want to keep our skin safe from the sun and not you know over damage the skin but you know this time of year when your skin's more exposed you may want to kick things up with a little bit of bronzer and it's nice to find one that doesn't transfer everywhere so this does say it's completely transfer proof we shall see i'm really really curious about this one this is the shimmer and Shake, 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 shake. This comes in two shades. They do have a more silvery shade, which now that I'm liking how much this stuff is working, I wanna like rush out and go get. $40 for this though, better be amazing. All right, so I'm just gonna spray the tip of my beauty blender. So you can see, I got it there. And I'm gonna go in. I don't know about that. Is that giving me a glow? I can't even really tell. Do you know what this stuff smells like? Donut dough. Like, you know when you go to a farmer's market and they make like those teeny tiny donuts? That's what this smells like. All right, I kind of feel like, I, I don't know how I'm feeling about the highlighter. Like for me, you guys know I want a little more of a glow. So this might not be worth the $40. I'm gonna see if I spray it like directly on the skin, what happens? Do it, it's like coming out white though. What is that? I mean, I guess that gives you like a little bit of a golden kind of a thing. I'm, I don't know that I'm feeling this one though. I'm gonna say I don't like that. I'm loving everything else, not a fan of the highlight. So what I'm gonna do now is try to get the gray out of my hair and finish the rest of my makeup and then I will be right back. All right guys, so I managed to get a little bit of the craziness out of my hair, at least I hope so. Um, okay, the rest of my face is on. Everything feels really locked in. I have not had to powder and it's actually been Gosh, it's been like an hour and a half because I finished my makeup and then I was wandering around. And usually when I sit back down, I'll see some kind of oiliness or some kind of change or touch up needed and nothing has moved. So I'm really impressed. I actually look very airbrushed, I feel in person and I'm enjoying it so far. The highlight, I did not like at all. I ended up putting a different highlighter on, a new one from um, ColourPop. I'm wearing their blush and highlighter. I think it's much prettier. So aside from that highlight, I think the bronzer, the foundation, I don't really know that the primer did anything, but I'm liking all of it. What I'm gonna do now 
is go about my day and I'm gonna do a few check-ins for you guys and we are gonna see how long this makeup lasts and if it stays looking good all day long or if it um, just goes to crap. We're gonna find out either way. All right guys, so I feel like I'm having an excellent foundation day. I cannot say enough about this. It hasn't gotten greasy. My pores look nice and small and my face feels completely still intact and it's been about four hours. And for the record, you look freaking beautiful. Really, I Thanks. really like this makeup day right now. Unlike the lush makeup, which you were very I, vocal about. You were really harsh, James. <laughs> it hurt my feelings. You know what? It's really rare that you have such a bad makeup day, but that was like the yeah. one of the worst I've ever seen. I'll link that video below. Um, I have to say something about this product. I forgot to mention the stuff on the arms, you guys. I'm wearing a white t-shirt. It's not transferring at all. However, I would spray on this product uh, in the nude because I sprayed it on while wearing that blue top and I did get some of the product on me so that's why I changed. Just, just so you know, but it's not transferring, which is really good. Are there any holosexuals in the audience? This is what I wore. Well, not this reed diffuser. Wait. <laughs> yeah, you wore the reed diffuser. <laughs> I wore this on my wedding. I just, you know, took the reed diffuser and just kind of wiped it all over me. Um, I wore a Kai perfume on my wedding day, on our wedding day, and I love the scent of it, and I want my beauty studio to smell like this. It's like gardenia. It smells very springtime, summer, so it's perfect. It's perfect. Oh, they have Kai deodorant. Do you need a candle too? If you want. Is this overkill? Sure, get it. Make the room smell nice. Get it. Guys, the new beauty studio is like the bomb. You're gonna freak out when you see it. Do you need some poopery? What? Do you need some poopery? No, I don't need some poopery. There you go. I don't need this. I'm not gonna use this. <laughs> I mean, maybe if they came up with like patchouli poopery. <laughs> wow, it smells really good, but it kind of, it just lets you know. It lets everybody know. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, either way, they're gonna know. I have actually really, really wanted one of these. This looks amazing. Check it out. You can put your brushes in this thing to make it stand up so you can see exactly what is what. Does this not look like it makes so much sense? And then it like folds so you can travel with it. <gasps> I'm getting it. All right, so this is actually what I'm wearing on my face right now. I thought while I was here that I'd show you the display where I picked the product up. So you can see how beautiful. I did not use the little puff that it says on here to use, but I watched a video online on how to use this and they did not use that puff and it still worked out great for me. So, um, but this is it. Check it out guys. All right, so we're just, you know, getting some coffee and look at all these cool cars. So awesome. I love it. They do this every Friday night? Every Friday night. Every Friday night. Are you kidding me? Yeah. It's a car show. What? Let me start by saying that it is much later than I would normally do a check-in. Um, we stayed out and about and now it's like 11 o'clock at night. So the foundation held up beautifully. I have not had to touch up. I did put on a little more blush because I felt like the blush disappeared. This is like side note. I'm trying out ColourPop blush and highlight and that's actually what's on my eyes too. So I did like a whole monochromatic look. And I really like it actually, um, but on the cheeks it disappeared. That's not what this video is about. Let's get back on track. Focus Tati, you can do it. <laughs> I really love this airbrush foundation. I am definitely gonna keep using it. I got so many compliments on my skin today. I have not had that many compliments on my skin in a very long time. And I feel like, really? Cause like I'm breaking out. I got a hormonal situation going on right here. But you know, if someone compliments your skin, that's like the ultimate. And and it makes me want to continue using this product. I felt like my pores were minimized. I felt like everything stayed put. It didn't blotch off. It didn't oxidize at all. It didn't get overly shiny, but it's not overly crinkly matte where it's exaggerating anything. So this is 100% Tati approved. I'm gonna be spraying my face every day, um, probably with a headband on and uh, totally naked. Again, I wanna show you guys, look at my arm. Oh my gosh, it's like tanner than my face actually. I am so impressed with the bronzer as body makeup. 
it did not come off on anything. And I went to the mall and I was trying on clothing and it didn't come off on anything, thank God, because I had like a space out moment. I normally wouldn't have been trying on clothing if I knew I had body product on because I'm like, I want to be courteous, you know? So, but this does not, I mean, even on a white shirt, it's nothing. Nothing. It's the craziest thing. Nothing. So it is like awesome stuff. I'm so happy I found this. It's like a cool new little little discovery that I can share with you guys. And this is completely not sponsored. I picked it up at my local beauty supply. So there we have it. Let me know in the comments what you want to see for an upcoming OMG Tuesday. I love you guys and I will see you all in tomorrow's video. And you better be back because it's the craziest machine makes your lips look bigger apparently that um, I, I've never seen anything like this. So come back tomorrow for that video. I love you guys and I will see you then. Mwah.